Bayern Munich taking on Barcelona. Barca, of course, have started the season so well. However, they have got a horrible record against Barcelona of late. And it was something that Xavi addressed in his press conference ahead of this tie. He said, I wouldn't say it's a house of horror, it's Bayern Munich. It's true we've never won here, which is the difficulty of this week's game, but we're in good form and we are excited for Tuesday. Mario, from a neutral's point of view, this should be a great match, shouldn't it? Oh, man, look, I mean, if you love football, you must look forward to a game like this because, you know, they, they, they you know, he's going back. Lovadevsky is going back to his uh, country, beloved country, we can call it, because he played there for so long time. And then there is a, is a question, you know, because uh, Nagelman, Nagelsmann, he said he doesn't know who is he going to start at the back. So, okay, I'm Dutch. So he, he brought out the point that the Licht, he's maybe not going to start him because, he, okay, he gave away some, uh, a penalty this weekend, but it doesn't matter. Just the situation, you know, uh, who's going to play next to Hernandez? Because that's the one that he's going to pick. But the situation just uh, amps up because there are two players that clearly are fighting for their position to play. And that's why I'm looking forward because who is going to be able and have the capacity to stop Lower Desky? Because let me tell you something, when you go back to your old club, it doesn't matter who you are. You always want to get one on them. And that is going to be 100% his goal. Lewandowski, of course, scored again this weekend. Yeah, the plane, the well. plane Bayern Munich, by the way. Barca. That's what I said. She said the plane Barca. Did I? Yeah, just in case. Just excited. I'm bailing you out. No, 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 thank I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, if they play Barca... Well, I'm sure anybody who's watching goes, oh, he's clearly made a little... Well, in case there, somebody brings up... Highlight, doesn't I'm, I'm, brought up, does it? Well, you don't want to let these things linger. <laughs> I... And if I'm, by the way, we're, is it tomorrow the game? Yes, it we're is. We're in so, tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have all these screens on. Yeah, don't Tuesday. ask me to watch other games. This okay. is the only one that's on tomorrow. Right, OK. We'll be watching this. Right. You talk about Barca's start to the season. Haven't really played anybody who's close to them in terms of strength. It's their biggest test by far. It goes without saying. They haven't really been tested yet in Spain. Oh. It's going to be interesting, Gab, isn't it? As Craig mentioned, of course, domestically, Bayern have had these three draws in a row. However, Two. they were really good against Inter, weren't they, in the opening day of the Champions League? Meanwhile, Barcelona cruising, but yet really to be tested, particularly in... Uh, Is there the a parrot in here? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, <laughs> evidently. Um, I, the, 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 look, then, those three draws, and I know people like to flip out. We, we talked about it today with... Uh, with Jan and the Gavin Jewell show. Um, there's different types of draws. Those first two draws against Gladbach and against uh, Union Berlin, uh, mm -hmm. Bayern dominated those games. Uh, I thought they played really well. They created a ton of chances. They made a defensive error in each of those two games, and that's why they ended up drawing. Stuttgart this weekend was a little bit different, but again, they played Stuttgart, you know, with, with, with this kid, this 17-year-old, um, Matisse Tell starting, uh, Sadio Mane on the bench, Leroy Sané on the bench. You put the starters in there, I'm not sure it works out that way, even though they weren't great at the weekend. So um, I, I wouldn't put too much stock in that. And you're right, uh, Barcelona probably haven't been tested un un until this point, but as the saying goes, you can only be what's in front of you. Mm. What I found interesting about the Cadiz game in the weekend is 57 minutes, the young scrambles in the goal, and then Xavi calls on the, 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 the cavalry. And then it's Pedri and, and, and Lewandowski uh, and Dembele coming on. And then it's lights out. And then they run up the score. Um, I think what that tells you is that maybe there still is a gap between the big guns and kind of the second string, at least up front for Barcelona. Uh, let's just take a look at everyone's predictions, uh, shall we, for this time. There is a theme uh, when you take a look at how they think this is going to finish. Uh, a draw, 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 and a draw. Why a draw, Mario? <clears throat> Why a draw? Because I think, there are, you know, like it's very difficult to go there and win. And I think Barcelona is a great form. But I still think um, the, the Germans won't allow it to make it that easy. Never. They never did and it will never be. So that's why I see like one team in form, one team that makes yeah. it difficult for you. I think a draw will be set. Sitting on the fence? Well, you just don't know. Uh, Bayern, Gab mentioned it, made some changes. Uh, Barcelona haven't had this kind of test this season anyway. Nagelsmann talked about it. It's about stopping Lewandowski, but is it? I mean, there's other facets to their team at the moment. He's the sort of the big star that, put, that gets the headline. Uh, so I can see it being difficult for... for Bayern to keep them out at one end, but 
I just think this Barcelona defence hasn't really been tested with this kind of quality. Sani, who's in good form, was rested. Mane's had a great start in Germany with his pace in behind. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a tight game. I think from Barca's point of view and Xavi's point of view, I hope it's a tight game because this is their kind of come with the moment. All the big signings, are they ready for a full assault on Real Madrid? Are they ready to mix it again with all the big boys in the Champions League? On paper, it looks as if they are, but we'll get a good gauge uh, tomorrow whether they're the real deal or not. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.